Hey guys, DJ Fitness doing his reviews and together with me today, Finoflex Stimulate Extreme Pre-Workout. Extreme Pre-Workout. Listen to this guys, I'm going to take you through the label, that's going to be really quick because this is as proprietary of a label as it gets. Then I'm going to share with you my personal experience using this product over the last week and then right towards the end of the video, I'm going to give you my final verdict. Who should use it? Should you use it? Should you buy it? Let's get right into it. So listen guys, as far as the Stimulate Finoflex Stimulate, this is a product that's been around for a while. You probably know it in its previous version. It was more dark, it was black, and it had different formula also. So this is a different formula. This one was launched, I think, a few months ago. I really like the labeling and the branding. Actually, it, I really dig it. It looks clean, clean. But then they also changed a bit of the formula. What they didn't change at Finoflex, which is a shame, at least on the Stimulate, is that this is a super proprietary label. Really, it is as proprietary as it gets. You get 40 servings in this uh, thing of six grams each with 2.6 active ingredients and what they call the endurance and ripping matrix. But you don't know how much you're getting of anything. And this is actually a list that is quite big of stimulants mostly. So you really want to know what you're getting. How much caffeine am I getting in here? How much of the other stimulants am I getting in here? It's, you really don't know, which is really a shame. Finoflex did go full transparent label on the other version of this one, which is called Stimulate Loaded, which is the complete pre-workout. So it has pump elements and all that good stuff. This thing, still, uh, still totally proprietary, which is a shame. Finoflex, seriously, it's February 2018, time to go transparent. We want to know what we're getting. But okay, let's put that behind us. Try to ignore this for a second. I'm going to take you through just some of the ingredients here, because again, I just don't know how much is in it. But I just want you to make sure that you know that there is a bunch of stuff here that's supposed to help you with energy, mental focus, and that's it basically. There's nothing else here around most uh, like uh, pumps, uh, endurance. There's beta alanine here, which I don't know how much, which I'll talk about in a second, but really no creatine, no ATP production, no nothing like that. So this is, this is, this is a STEAM pre-workout. Don't expect anything else. There's nothing else in here except steams. Okay, as far as the steam package, it starts with beta alanine. Now, the first thing that would come to mind is like, huh, there's 2.6 grams of actives. There's definitely no 3.2 grams of beta alanine, those math skills. But, so I don't know how much is in it, but I'm going to talk my experience in a second. Um, then you get a big list of ingredients, which are all some sort of a steam based ingredient. And uh, you don't know how much is in it, but you do know that some of them are super unique that I didn't see in other pre-workouts. So beyond the caffeine that's in here, I don't know how much caffeine, but there's like 300, 400 milligrams. That's what the rumor is. Then you have stuff that's uh, like Iris in XD, you have, uh, which is a, a concentrated green tea extract that's supposed to help with the hormone irisin, which is a neurotransmitter in the body. Then you have uh, theobromine, which we are used to seeing in other pre-workouts. You have something called l phenylalanine which I've never seen in other pre-workouts, and it is an amino acid that's a precursor to tyrosine, so it's supposed to help you with mental focus. Then you have anatia, which is another ingredient I've never seen in any other pre-workout, which is a combination. It's something from South Africa. I did some research. It has some caffeine in it, plus some antioxidants. And again, it's supposed to promote mental focus and supposed to promote energy production. And on top of that, you have teacrine in the teacrine version. So that's like caffeine, but more a prolonged effect and you don't get used to it so fast and it's supposed to not, uh, you're not supposed to crash with it. And then at the end of it, you have alpha yohimbin. How much? I don't know. If you're sensitive to alpha yohimbin, then good luck with that. Okay, and that's it. So let's go into the actual experience with this thing. As far as flavor, I have the awesome Apple Blast. And I do have to say, the flavor is awesome. I really like it. I mean, I'm not sure it's very apple-y, but it does, it is super tasty. I really liked it. It is, it's just good flavor. You, you're going to enjoy it. I would mix it with 10 ounces of water, by the way, because it is a bit, uh, it's very strong. But 10 ounces of water, perfect uh, flavor. Okay, so let's go into the actual experience. So the label here says, never go above one scoop a day. And you know, steam junkies, we look at this thing, it has like 2.6 grams of actives. Come on, man, I can take it, right? 
I have to tell you, I wouldn't go one, over one scoop of this thing. One scoop is a super intense experience. Now, let me share with you the actual experience though. So, you know, when you start to take it, then I didn't expect any beta-alanine tingling or effect. I have to tell you that this actually had one of the strongest tingling effect that I have had in a pre-workout and it was prolonged. Like I felt it even an hour after the workout, after I took this, sorry. Which usually, you know, beta-alanine, the tingling uh, dies after like a few minutes, like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. This one was really intense, super intense. Now, I'm not sure it's the actual beta-alanine in here or it's the mix of the combination of the stimulants, but super, super intense experience. As far as the energy, this definitely kicks you hard. Definitely kicks you hard. You, you don't go over one scoop. I think that over one scoop, it, you're going to get your heart pounding and you're going to feel like shit. I would even say that start with half a scoop, really, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm insulting some of you guys. Start with half a scoop, just see how it feels, and then go full scoop, don't go over one scoop, because there's just a lot of stimulants here. As far as the actual experience, your energy is solid, and it's strong, and it stays with you for at least an hour and a half, two hours solid. So I think that from an energy perspective, if you like the steam feeling, this is a very powerful pre-workout. As far as the mental focus, I didn't get like super strong mental focus. You, you, you feel it from the caffeine and the, all the other stimulants. You're definitely focused on your workout, right? But it's not like tunnel vision or anything like that. There's some ingredients here that at least the theory behind them, they're supposed to help with mood elevation and the feel good type thing, you know, that you're getting with the, some of the exotic stimulants. I didn't really feel it all the way. I definitely felt energy. I would say this. So to summarize this thing, my final verdict. Stimulate is a steam junkie pre-workout. If you, if you like getting hit hard, getting hit hard, then definitely stimulate would be a very good uh, pre-workout for you guys. If you like the full experience, you want something that gives you the pumps, the endurance, the muscle power, and if you want to feel elevated from a mood perspective, then I think that this does less of a good of a job than when you compare it to stuff that has potentially DMHA or PAs or some aryogenesis. This, this is a steam junkie. One thing I do want to mention that as far as value for money, this is actually super good because you get 40 scoops. And I know it, it, this is actually 40 <laughs> workouts because I don't, like I said, you don't want to go over one scoop of this thing. So for a 40 scooper, which usually you could find at the below the $30 uh, range. And if we hunt it down on a deal, because that's what we do, we hunt deals then you could find it probably in the $25 range and stuff like that, which makes it a super great value for money. So this is it, guys. If you like stims, try this one out. Listen, people, if this video was helpful in your pre-workout decision-making process, give it a thumbs up. Come on, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more reviews like this because this is what we do here. We bite the stimulate so you don't have to and you know what you're getting. And if you want to save money on Finaflex Stimulate or any other pre-workout or product, fitnessdenews.com. We hunt the deals, we compare prices, you save money. Listen, if you want to know who won today's giveaway, just wait. Okay, guys, you know the drill. We have this software that goes through our subscriber base and randomly chooses a subscriber that left a comment at one of the videos on this channel. So I'm going to click the button. No way, Pena. My friend, is it Noah? Is it Noah? Anyway, my man, DM me on Facebook.